small Argentinian peninsula known as Punta Tambo, we encounter the Magellanic Penguin. While penguins are flightless birds, you may say that they fly through the water. These impressive birds can swim more than 170 kilometers in a day. But spending all that time in the salty ocean can be a problem. Penguins, just like humans, have to maintain a delicate balance of salt in their bloodstream. But it is difficult for a penguin to avoid ingesting salty water. Every time a Magellanic penguin eats prey, it also drinks a lot of salt water. So how can our ocean-loving friend get rid of all this excess salt? In order to keep their salt levels balanced, penguins have developed a clever adaptation. Located just above the penguin's eyes is the supraorbital gland. This gland's function is very similar to that of a kidney. Both are optimized to remove salt from the body. Acting like a filter, this gland separates the salt from the water our penguin friend has consumed. All this extra salt drips out of the gland in a salty fluid and runs down the penguin's beak. Unlike our kidneys, however, this gland is much better at extracting salt from the bloodstream. Interestingly, if a penguin is kept in captivity without a salty ocean to swim in, the supraorbital gland will become inactive. This is just one more sign of how well penguins are able to adapt to their environment. The supraorbital gland is just one of many fascinating adaptations animals have developed to survive in a wide range of conditions. One can only guess at what compelling adaptation researchers will discover next and how it will change our perception of how animals survive in the most extreme environments.